Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and in this video I want to show you how you can add more of the new VS-89 sniper rifle to your Daisy community server for Xbox, PlayStation and PC, and also so how you can get it to spawn in with mags and scopes on it as well. Now remember, this will only be live and work when update 1.25 goes live so but don't be tempted to um, put them on your servers before then now presumably because you're watching this video you'll be a little bit familiar with what we're about to do but when 1.25 goes live the files that we want to edit are going to be our types.xml and our CFG spawnable types that XML. So if we go into our server, this is Nitrado, this is a console server. Remember, <laughs> it will be when version 1.25 is live and also when you've updated to the 1.25 XMLs. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below this video. If, if what I'm saying is again, what, how do I do that? You'll be able to watch that and that will show you how to do it. But what you want to do is you're going to be going to your file browser. You're going to be going to your missions folder, so DAISY, uh, PS missions on a PlayStation server, XB missions on an Xbox server, uh, just missions on a PC server, and then um, if it's Chernerus, if it's a Chernerus server, Enoch, if it's a Livonia server, and then you want to download and make copies of, so you've got backups of your CFG spawnable types. So you just click that download button there, so download that, and then go into the DB directory. And you want to download your types.xml and then you want to open these up in your favorite text editor. So here we go. So we have types. The idea of having a backup and doing it as a copy is if we make a mistake, we can then revert to what we had. And then when we're in here, and I highly recommend Notepad. It's very good, Notepad. It kind of color codes stuff so you can see when you've made mistakes. It doesn't catch all the mistakes, but it catches a lot of them. We can do a control F and we search for the SV98. Because the VS89 is called the SV98 uh, in real life and in the files. First off, we come across the mag. So this is where you may want to increase the mags. I don't know, say have uh, 20 spawning in with a minimum of 17. Um, now, if we change the quant min and quant max to 99 and 100, that will mean is that these magazines will spawn in full of bullets which is what we want so you can when you pick up a mag it'd be full of bullets so if you've got more of a or less of a hardcore server where you want players to be able to pick up weapons and use them a lot to kill zombies and other players then that might be good um, now it's weapons it's military it's tier three and tier four you could put tier two if you wanted to, to to bring it closer to the coast if you like or further up country um, if we were looking at this on a Livonia server it would only be tier three and tier two I think um, but if we do Control F again and look for SV90 again, SV98 again, we then get to the actual rifle itself. And as you can see, only three of them spawn in normally, which isn't very many at all. So again, maybe you want to turn that up to six. Maybe you want to put the minimum up to four. So the minimum is the point at which the uh, rifle will start respawning in. It's only counted on the map, so that's good. Um, it's military tier three and tier four. If you want to make, if you want to spread them out the map more, you could put tier two. Just remember though that when you do add near, to, add more tiers to any item, sometimes it can actually make it more difficult to find unless there's lots and lots of them. Because obviously, if you, if only six are meant to be spawning on the map, at the moment they only spawn in at tier three and tier four military locations. Okay, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> But if we were if we were to add in tier two military locations as well, all of a sudden they would be you know another at least a third probably of possible locations. But we haven't increased the nominal or the minimum, so you know it becomes more difficult to find them. But remember, don't go mad with your loot. Mad with loot is bad <laughs> because I, I t sometimes when we're testing our servers, sometimes what happens is. We're not playing them for that long, so maybe you'll do some play testing on your server. Maybe it's a local server on your local PC, or maybe it's on your remote server, you know, your PlayStation or your Xbox or your PC one. Um, but we have to remember that when we're play testing, we're only play testing for, say, I don't know, half an hour or hour or something like that. We're trying to sustain gameplay on our server for the players who go on our servers, which may include ourselves and our friends and other people, for dozens of hours. So 
you don't necessarily want it you don't want to make it too easy for people to find the best weapons because what's the gameplay loop once they've got the best weapon you know okay so that's the types done done so you would save that now we want to go into the cfg gameplay uh, no we don't now we want to go in the cfg spawnable types the xml and we search for the sv98 again so here we go so these are really interesting so what cfg spawnable types does this tells the game when you spawn something in from the types actually it should have a chance of spawning in with these attachments as well so as you can see so the first attachment is the scope so 0.25 means you've got a 25 percent chance of spawning in with a scope so one in four of the sv98s will spawn in with a scope and that chances of that would be roughly 30 percent for um the m4 t3 optic i'm not sure which one that one is uh 30 percent chance of a reflex optic 25 percent chance of the acog four times and a 15 percent of the acog six times and then you've got 45 percent chance so roughly one in two um as sv98s will spawn in with a mag on them so what you could do if you wanted to if you wanted every single sv98 to spawn in with a mag you could do that because that's one and that's one also the other thing you could do which could be quite useful is you change that to 1.00 so what that means is every single sv98 that spawns in will spawn in with a scope but then you've got 15 percent chance of that one 25 percent chance of that one 30 percent chance of that one 30 percent chance, chance of that one um, now what you could do is if you want to you could change around this so we could actually put say ACOG six times up to 100 well 1.00 then get rid of the other three or change them to 00 or remark them out um, but remember that these lines or these numbers here must add up to one um, for it to work properly so there we go so now what we have is we have got every single SV98 that spawns in will spawn in with a scope but it'll be one of these but they will, every single one of them will spawn in with a mag inside. So again, you'll be able to, when you, if you find this rare gun, it'll have a mag in, you'll be able to use it straight away and have a bit of fun shooting zombies or other players and that sort of things. Now you would then save that and then you would go back to your server and you would just upload those files over the top of the existing ones. So upload the types over the top of the types and then you would upload the cfg spawnable types over the top of the cfg spawnable types and then you would just restart your server and those changes would then start to take effect and then you would have more of these most wonderful sv98s or vs89s what you would like to call it uh, bolt action sniper rifle that is uh, very very nice indeed sounds great doesn't it anyway that's enough from me hopefully you find this video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon.